Where's Clint Eastwood when you need him? Okay, kids, I'm going to teach you how to simplify square roots using the good, the bad, the ugly method. Here's how we do it. First of all, the good list. You know what these numbers are. They're perfect squares. One squared, two squared, three squared, four squared. It's a free list of numbers. You can put it on your test, homework, all day long. You're going to want to know your perfect squares. Okay? So, to simplify a radical, we have the square root of 45. Every single time you do the good and the bad, and hopefully there will be no ugly. Okay? We need a perfect square that divides evenly into 45. I don't know about you, but I could see it a mile away. See, it's none of these numbers because they're already, they're already bigger than 45. 9 goes into 45. So 9 is the good. Well, 9 times what gives you 45? 5. So, by the way, if you ever in this first radical sign have a number that is not on the list, you're going to get the answer wrong 100% of the time. Okay? So... Actually, I shouldn't say that. There are times where you have to give yourself more work, so you might not miss it. But try and get a good number in this first radical. What is the square root of 9? 3. You bring down radical 5. You're done, my friends. How about here? Okay. The good, the bad. What number on my list goes into 20? I can see it. It's 4. That goes in 4 times what? 5. What's the square root of 4? 2. Radical 5. Okay, let's do another one. Square root of 12. Now, what about the kid that gets all excited and says, oh, 2 and 6? Well, is 2 on my list? No, so it's not right. So let's get the eraser. Okay, what number is on my list that's on the good? 4 goes into 12. 4 times 3. What's the square root of 4? 2. Just bring the bad down. Now here, I don't know if you know this or not, but you can multiply numbers inside radicals all day long. I mean, a number inside a radical times another number inside a radical and make one big radical. What is 5 times 8? 40. Now we could break this baby down to the good and the bad. 4 goes in. 4 times 10 is 40. Square root of 4 is 2. Radical 10. There's my answer. Over here. When you have numbers inside a radical, you can manipulate them. You can multiply. So we're going to get the square root of 56 because 7 times 8 is 56. And we're going to break that into the good and the bad. All right, what goes in? 16, 9 times 6, no, 4, oh, 4 times 14. By the way, if you have any perseverance whatsoever, you could take this big number and divide it by each of these until you get a nice whole number on the calculator. That way you will know it goes in evenly. What is the square root of 4? 2 radical 14. Now here, you just can't go multiplying willy-nilly. Okay, You can, however, multiply numbers outside radicals, and you can also multiply numbers inside radicals. So what is 2 times 3? 6. Put the radical, what is 5 times 12? 60. Now, we could break this baby down into the good and the bad. Notice how I brought that 6 down. It's part of the answer. What goes into 60? 4. I'm going to get a lot of 4s lately. Okay. And 4 times 15. 15 is the bad. Now, this is how I do it. I In my head, I say square root of 4 is 2 times 6 is 12. 12 radical 15 is my answer. So let's show Clint Eastwood a little respect and use the good, the bad, the ugly to simplify radicals. All right, have a little extra add-on video for simplifying square roots because what if, remember I mentioned you'll always get it wrong? Well, that's not necessarily true because what if you did something like this? We break it down the good, the bad, and then we say, oh, okay, 9 goes in. 9 times 8. Yeah, nine's on the good list, but watch what happens. The square root of 9 is 3. And I bring down radical 8. But can't radical 8 be broken down? Yes, you don't need to dial 911. Don't start over. Just bring the 3 down, and let's break down the 8. What's the What number goes into 8? 4. 4 times 2. Now, what's the square root of 4? 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 radical 2. Now, you could have done it this way. The good and the bad. 36. See, when you got to here, that told me a bigger number went in. So you could have put 36 times 2 and gone straight to 6 radical 2. 
Okay, but it's not the end of the world um, if you just get a number that you know goes in that's on my list and then you could bring it home from there.